What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another Sonic Lost World update. So Sega has revealed that there will indeed be a ice world in Sonic Lost World. It is called Frozen Factory Zone, and we got to see a little bit of gameplay of that casino zone that was revealed not too long ago, which is a part of Frozen Factory Zone, kind of like that candy zone that had nothing to do with dessert ruins in that. So there is some gameplay of that, and I will have that in the description and it was by GameSpot. So if you guys want to see gameplay of the Casino Zone, go click that link in the description and you can see for yourself. So that's the news, guys. So let's get to my thoughts. So one thing I want to get down with you guys um, is about me posting gameplay in my updates and why I don't. There are two big reason well actually one reason why i don't really put gameplay in my updates that reason is content id i do not want my updates to get content id i don't get those with screenshots and content id once you get it on your video you might as well delete your video because that can turn into a copyright claim and then you get a strike and I do not want that to happen because one I don't want to get copyright ID and like I just said you have to basically delete your video and I don't want to have my updates there where they're all out of order because I had to delete one to where you're seeing say for example I have update two and through three up and then there's an update five and there's an update you know six but there's no seven or or there's no four there's no four update because I had to delete it I don't want that to happen I want everything to be clean in order and worry free that's why I don't really put gameplay or don't put gameplay at all in my updates is because of the, that one reason. And that's why I put screens in because like I said, you do not get copyright ID claims for screens. And plus, as I try to explain to people who want gameplay in my updates, it's that there's always going to be screenshots of what the trailer just shown. And you know, even though, you know, a trailer speaks for itself so does you know screens and and most of the time screens show you things that was never shown in the trailer it has the same things that was in the trailer but as far as levels and gameplay mechanics it can show more than that you know because you get a number of screens not just a little bit but most of the times a lot of screens just like with the new Sonic Lost World uh, trailer with uh, Desert Ruins and Silent Forest in it, you know, there were, when I got the screens, actually got the screens in the latest update, there were more things in those screens that were never before seen in the trailer. So if you see where I'm going there. So that's why. It's not because I'm being lazy. I don't want to edit it, gameplay in or anything. It's because I do not want any of my updates to be having to be deleted or there's going to be a problem with them you know or getting a copyright strike that's the main reason why now I am a partner and I know some of you guys may be thinking well other people on YouTube do that you know uh, and they never seem to get copyright ID some YouTube channels have actually the rights to post gameplay and stuff in their videos from the actual developers and those are usually the bigger you know uh the way bigger um uh, what's called uh youtubers that have way more subscribers than i do and way more viewers obviously so they actually advertise the game for them uh that those companies and and such so they actually have permission to do that so they don't have to worry about that um so i don't have that unfortunately so that's the main reason why so anyway to the news so we now have a couple of zones we have windy hill zone frozen factory zone 
we have silent forest zone and desert ruins zone um so like i was saying the casino zone doesn't match up with what uh frozen factory zone is which we haven't yet seen the themed levels yet but what Sega is trying to do, and what I've heard in a quote, um, is that they're trying to switch up what levels are in a zone, um, even regardless of their the zone z- theme. That way, uh, zones won't feel boring and redundant and look all the same to uh, people. So there will be some, you know, kind of out of place zones in, say, like Desert Ruins, where it has that completely candy themed zone which is completely basically out of place compared to the zones that actually showcase a desert and ruins. So that's really cool. That does keep everything kind of fresher and all that. So I can't wait to see the actual themed levels of Frozen Factory Zone. Um, It just sounds already cool because it's frozen in a factory. I just wonder how that's all going to look at look like um and we know there's going to be some type of volcan volcanic uh zone and a beach zone so that makes pretty much six zones each but for all we know there could be more worlds um and that's what i meant not zones but worlds uh six worlds so um can't wait to see what else is revealed hopefully we'll get more information probably next month or uh august uh not august but um maybe september so thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll be doing more updates on sonic lost world as more things are revealed thank you for watching